ladies. Welcome back. Sorry it took so long to get this next video out, but I'm here. Let's do this. All right. I'm ready for summer. Are you? I don't know if most of you have been through menopause or have hot flashes, but that's an issue that I still have after about six years of being past menopause. I still have hot flashes, which isn't anything to get excited about. And in fact, it's kind of a pain in the <laughs> But it's something I have to deal with along with alopecia. So I'm not complaining, I'm just solving problems here, okay? I've been testing out some different ideas off the wall and some traditional. And the one I'm wearing now is my most traditional idea. I have purchased from Gabor a topper. This is my first topper that actually matched my natural bio hair, which really helps. I've had others that I've ordered online and unfortunately come through and the short topper is a different color than the rest of my hair. So it doesn't blend. But today I actually picked out dark ginger blonde by Gabor. And I think it's done a pretty good job of matching. Take a look, see what you think. I've used a little styling product here so the pieces sit flat and go into my hair as well. I use a comb and after I spray it just to the edges, like here's the topper hair and then here's my bio hair. I just spray it just at the edge and blend. Okay, while I have a little bit of bio hair, I thought I might as well use it and that might be cooler during the summer, I'm hoping. Um, so far it has been. And um, although this is my number one favorite color in the world to get jazzy or, you know, um, show off or change things up, it is a good alternative when it's hot out. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. And let's see what else. It can be asymmetrical if you choose to style it that way. But as I mentioned to you before, I like to have that side swipe a little bit. I break it up once in a while. Okay. To leave this negative area seems more flattering to me. It softens my forehead and softens my look a little. But you can use your fingers and do what you want. You can go further and sweep it if that's what you like better. Or you can tuck, but since I don't have a, a sideburn, that to me kind of gives it away. So I like to pull this down a little. Okay. Once again, the sideburn is gone. So I pull the hairs down toward my ear to remedy that. And then what I did because I get self-conscious of that. I use this product, okay? I'm sure you've heard of it. And it's almost like, well, they call it a glue. It's got to be, okay? And it's the yellow packaging. Remember that, because they do come in different colors and that means different strengths of hold. And this one is water-resistant styling spiking glue, they call it, okay? I'll hold it up there a little bit longer for you. And I just take a little dab, I mean, like this much, can you see? I even wet my thumb in the water and blend it. Because I'd rather have less first than putting too much, okay? And then I go to the back. And because sometimes this part looks a little bald. Sometimes I go to the back and just fill that in with my fingers by pinching that hair and putting it in position so it's more likely to stay where I put it. Same with the sideburns. 
just, it can go on the skin as well. It won't hurt anything. And that just gives you a little extra insurance. If you want to piece out your bangs, you can do the same thing. Take the ends and just twirl it a little bit. Gives a little stain power. And if you want to bring it up just into the middle of the hair, twirl it a little bit. Now, let me add some more for you. And this all washes out when you wash your topper, okay? But let's just say I wanted it more PC up here. I can go like this and spike it. This is all topper I'm playing with. Synthetic fibers. You can see it move a little bit. But it has combs inside, which I'll show you in a minute. But you can do the traditional, more traditional look like I just had before, where you can get into the spikier look. And just twirl like that. Okay, see how it's getting more PC there? This is where I put it. And then I would go back with this and just spray it lightly. All right, so that gives you an idea of what we can do during the summer. That way, your whole head, as I lift this up, your whole head down here won't be covered. Okay, pretend like this is a wig covering the sides with wefts and covering the back. All the top is being covered. I'll lift it up so you can see. All right. So this is the portion that's being covered right here where I have hair loss from alopecia and on the very top, just a little bit of hair loss for me, but some people have more. It just covers up those areas on top without having the heat of a wig. In 80 and 90 degree weather. Okay, it's dark ginger blonde GL27-39. Take a look at your bio hair if that's what you want to match, or you can dye your bio hair. Um, I'm just trying to give mine a rest from coloring, since that's what I used to do, is streak and color my hair for, I would say, let's see now, 40 years. So that might be something you want to avoid if you're taking care of your hair now.